it has been a while since we did a video on Aaron on this channel and Aaron has been getting a lot of traction lately. This is because of their My Exchange was officially launched on 19th of November and in just 10 days after its launch, the mainnet had over 1 million accounts created on it and to me, it seems like the network might really emerge to be significant competition to all other DEXs out there. Not to mention their $1.29 billion Maya DAX liquidity incentive program has really helped push the price of Aaron and have been attracting a lot of attention lately. Just to give you a little refresher of what Aaron is, Aaron went live on Mainnet in July 2020 and it initially had problems attracting developers but now it's growing so fast not only because of the incentive program, Aaron also has a limited supply of only 20 million e-gold and new tokens are minted to reward the validators and for Maya, it can be considered as the Aaron's official DEX since it's created by the same team that builds the Aaron blockchain. The UI does feel good and the exchange keeps going up at a steady pace. So I thought today maybe I could do a Maya exchange tutorial to show you guys what is it like utilizing the browser wallet and adding liquidity as well as farming on the platform if you like this type of content make sure you smash up the like button subscribe to the box mining channel to see more similar content with all being said let's go straight to the my exchange platform so right now i'm going to show you how to create a web browser wallet first first thing first you need to go to the maya.exchange click the top right corner and click connect as always, the link of the platform can be found in the description box below. Well, first thing first, you need to have some e-gold. There are several ways to do it. You can do it on centralized exchange or you can use the Maya mobile app to connect your wallet to the platform. Or you can even use the Aaron bridge to send over some of your USDC token from Ethereum to Aaron. However, in terms of the Aaron bridge, you will need to pay for the Ethereum gas fee for bridging. And at the moment, you can only send USDC from Ethereum to Aaron. And you need to have some e-gold in your wallet in order to utilize the Maya exchange. And for the Maya app itself, you can find the app on Google Play Store or App store if you're using the iOS. However, the Maya wallet requires phone verification. It does feel a bit more centralized, but if you're concerned with your privacy, you can always just stick to the web browser wallet. As we are trying to utilize the web wallet, click web wallet. We don't have a wallet at the moment yet, so we're trying to create one. So go ahead, click create, understand everything, continue. So right now you have your 24 word seat phrase. Remember to write it down your seat phrase on a piece of paper. Make sure you keep the paper safe and please don't take a picture of that paper because you're going to risk your fund in the wallet. So once you have got all your 24 words down, go ahead and click confirm and create wallet. The second word for my wallet is going to be drama. Number 16 is multiply. Number 20 is carry. When you're ready, go ahead and click continue. So right now you have to create your own password. Please pick a stronger one. So voila, you're ready. Go ahead and click access wallet. At the same time, you have download the key store file, which is right here on the bottom left corner, as you can see. You have to save this because um, you're going to use the file in a bit. So let me just go ahead and click Assess Wallet. So right now you have to drop the file that you just downloaded, which is this file right here. And again, you need to enter your password. When you're ready, click Assess Wallet. So now that you have officially created a wallet, but of course you don't have any money on your wallet yet. So right now I'm going to go to Binance and send some eagle to my Maya web wallet. So I'm going to go to my Binance now and withdraw some of my eagle token and send it to my wallet. What you want to do is go to the top right corner and copy the wallet address and send it to yourself. So right now I will want to hit withdraw and paste the wallet address. It's, as you can see, it's automatically on Aaron eagle. 
I'm not gonna withdraw all my eagles, so I'm just gonna withdraw like 0 0.02 eagles. And when you're ready, go ahead and hit withdraw. So I waited for like a minute for my eagle to pop up on my balance. So right now we are officially ready to do some swapping and farming. Go ahead and close that and go to, uh, let's go to the farms first and look at the juicy farms. Well, as you can see, there are only three tokens on the my exchange at the moment, but I believe there'll be more. The APL is quite insane. And as always, the earlier you get in into these farms, the higher the rewards you can get. For example, the first farm you see right here is a simple max farm where you can simply stick our max token to earn more max. This farm doesn't involve adding liquidity to the exchange, but in this tutorial, we'll be focusing on Eagle and USDT only. So right now, what you would like to do is to swap half of my Eagle to USDC. So scroll back up to swap and let me swap my e-gold to USDC. Well, as you can see, there's a minimum amount of 0 0.1 and I didn't know that. So I have to go back to Binance and send more eagle token to my web wallet. So I've just got my eagle token and once again, I waited for like a minute for my eagle to pop up on my account. So right now I'll be swapping half of my eagle to USDC in order to farm. This is because when you add liquidity you have to add an equal amount of value for both tokens in the pool that you choose so right now i'm going to put um since i have 0.22 i'm going to put 0.11 so for slippage i'm going to put three percent because i'm impatient once you're happy with everything go ahead and click swap access your wallet so i literally waited less than 10 seconds for my transaction to be processed well as you can see i've already got my usdc on my wallet and of course less error on my wallet so right now we can go ahead and provide liquidity go back to the top and click liquidity let's go to active pools since i'm really interested in this eagle to usdt i'm gonna click this farm and add liquidity it is automatically set to eagle and usdt so i'm just gonna go ahead and click max once you're happy you can go ahead and add liquidity again you have to access the wallet sign and continue just like what we just did for swapping well, again, it took me a few seconds for my transactions to be completed. So as you can see, we have got our LP tokens. We can go ahead and do the farming. Let's go ahead and stick farm and you would like to click max. And again, you'll be asked to sign two actions in one transaction. Once you're happy with everything, click stick. So let's click access wallet, continue, sign and submit. And voila, we're officially farming on the My Exchange. As you can see, I'm already earning my max token. Well, of course, I can't harvest right now because you can only harvest every 30 minutes with a minimum of $10. Well, there you have it, guys. A very quick video to show you how to do farming on the My Exchange. If you found this type of tutorial helpful, do like the video, subscribe to the Bots Mining channel, and share the video to your friends to help spread the knowledge about the My Exchange platform. If you do so, I'll be very, very grateful and motivated to provide more content for our viewers. If you want more regular updates from me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.